Hi, my name is James Zawaki, and when I receive my Raspberry Pi, I plan on turning it into a homebrew console for the kids to play on. And after a few hours of getting it all set up and configured, letting them play on it, when I was leaving the room, I saw my daughter begin to unplug the cables from the Raspberry Pi. And I was like, no, 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 fear that static electricity might fry the motherboard, or the delicate connectors could break. It was then I realized that the Raspberry Pi really did need a case. So I went on the internet, searched around, and 90% of them were vaporware. They didn't really exist, just 3D renderings. Uh, the 10% that were out there to purchase, they were basically just plastic wrapped around the Raspberry Pi. You still plugged into the USB and the RJ45 and the HDMI connectors on the board. There was really no protection. So I sat back and thought, how would I design a case? The first requirement was all the connectors out the back. That way it would sit on top of a TV and fit in like any other device. I also wanted to have uh, the ability to plug in internal USB devices such as a flash drive or your Bluetooth dongle. I also wanted to have an onboard voltage regulator so that you didn't have to use a cell phone charger. You could use any 9 volt or 12 volt power supply. So after many hours of designing circuit boards, designing panel layout, sending out, having a prototype made, bringing it back in and testing, this is what I came up with. There will be two versions. Of course, this will be mass produced out of plastic instead of metal. This is the prototype. Um, one version will be just as you see here with the I.O. pins, and then a second version will just be a flat panel here for people that don't want access to the I.O. pins. So if you're building a media center or a console like I was, you wouldn't need to have these ugly screw terminals sticking out the back. But if you want to do robotics or access motors or, you know, I.O., then you'll have that option as well. So the only connectors that actually plug into the Raspberry Pi directly are the composite and the audio. I figured today's standard using HDMI that most people wouldn't really use these connectors anyway.